greet you with peace and I greet you with love. This is Dr. Obunane from Africa Ancestral Spiritual Ministry. This evening, I want to share something with you. And I titled this as The Great Benin versus The Great Britain. It's time we start addressing this. Why is the Great Britain not following the full step of the Germans? We have to start discussing about these topics. Why topic like this is good for us to start discussing? So that those people who are thinking this is just about a basic, a governor in a rainforest of West Africa, so that they can start having the bigger picture and knowing why we are so passionate about this thing. The Great Britain and the Great Benin. First fact you have to know, the Great Benin Kingdom is older than the Great Britain. First fact you have to know. During the time of the Ogisos, the Great Benin, the Great British have never even organized themselves. They were, they were still a group of warlords fighting and killing each other to project their selves as a king while we already have already a structured institution. The Great British Empire was created in the 1600s. In the 1600s, we have already have about 32 Ogisos. We have already about close to about uh, uh, 20 Obas. Don't forget from the Ogiso, when the Ogiso dynasty ended, that is when we now started having empire. And our empire started early as 1200. While the Great British Empire started 1600. So, if Great Britain, who later projected themselves as the, as the master of the earth by conquering people and making people their slaves, taking over people's land, taking over people's society and their culture, raping and stealing from people, if they now later decide and say, eh, we are the greats, and they don't want to pay acknowledgement to ancient people who has been existing long before they even come to the picture, then something is wrong. So what you have to really understand is this. Before the British Empire, invaded Benin Kingdom. The, the, it was already time to, to close that discussion of a European nation taking over other people's land. Slave trade was already over. Don't forget that. Slave trade was already over because slave trade was strambled late 1700. Slave trade was already strambled. That was why they now called for a conference in 1884 where they cannot share Africa and start colonizing Africa. Because their thinking was, now that we have stopped using them as slaves, so we should look for another system where we can introduce to them and colonize them so that they can be and remain our slaves forever. That was why colonization started. And that was why the Berlin Conference was needed. But the British Empire knew that if we did not break the Benins, we can never control these people you see now in that southern part of the Nigeria. So for we to be able to make all these people in the southern part of Nigeria our slaves, we need to first break the Benin Empire. So the invasion of the Benin was something that was perfectly planned by the Great British. That excuse of massacre that they give that was a trap. They know we are warriors in nature. They know that if they offend us, we will rehat. So that was why they sent some lamp to, as a sacrifice. They used that lamp to make a sacrifice so that they can ask a, like a justification for destroying and invading us. Because they know that if they just come like that to invade us, a lot of people around the world, especially the Portuguese, who we have, have a very close ally with, for centuries before they even come into the picture, they know that people will be angry. So they needed an excuse. 
because don't forget by the 1440 while british has not very even become empire we already have embassies in europe we already have strong relationship with europe let me share this video do the same do the same share this video and the number is there you can call also to make your own contribution because we have to be talking about these things more and more more and more because they want it to fade away as if nothing never really happened something happened a lot of things happened and we have to start talking about it we have to start talking about it the first question now is why is the British government not following the lead of the Germans? The Germans never invaded the New Kingdom. When they came to us, they traded with us with fairness. But today they are following, they are, play, they are taking the right paths. Meanwhile, British don't even want to have this discussion with anybody. But we know why, and I will share the reason to you today. Share this video. Share it. And please know if you have not signed our petition, go and sign it. Go and sign it. These things are very important. It is very, very, very important. That's all I can do for now. When you understand the role of the Great Britain in this act, then you will know that once upon a time, evil was in a human form. What the Great Britain did to the indigenous people, not just only in Africa, in India, in China, in Thailand, in everywhere around the earth. What the Great British did to the indigenous people is something that we all are not supposed just to forget and ignore like that. But they know this. So that's why they try to create a lot of things to be distracting us from the main topic we should be talking about. Why did the, the British invade the Benin Kingdom? They were jealous. They were jealous that the kingdom inside the rainforest of West Africa, so vast in everything, when Benin Kingdom had street lights, no nation in Europe know what is called street lights. I will repeat it again. When the great, when, when the great Bini have street lights, no nation in Europe today knew what was street lights. When we were making those artifacts, no nation in Europe have that IQ, that sense of even doing anything like that. That's why they call us the gods of the bronze. The gods of ivory. You have to know how our ivory from Great Benin has transformed the whole world. And when we are talking about Great Benin, even if you are not from Benin, don't think, ah, this is just Benin. No, this is Africa in heritage. As long as you are a black man, this is connected to you. As long as you are African, this is connected to you. So share this video. Let me even sit down. Share this video. Invite your friends and family. We are going to be discussing this now. Mm. We are going to be discussing this. More and more. Why is it important? It's important because if we don't talk about it, before you know, it will fade away. It will not look like nothing like that has ever happened. It will not look like uh, it's just a melt. Meanwhile, the Great British up to today is still standing on the fact that they had to do a punitive expedition on us. They will call it expedition. They don't call it genocide. They don't call it invasion. They just call it expedition. They just call it expedition because they want to be using English language to confuse us. So because English is not our language, we will just accept how they said it and we will just follow it up like that. 
but we understand some language now that is more even better than English. So we can translate English now to different languages now. So we understand the mind game now. So what the Great British did to Africa is something that all Africans have to know. They have to know. They did not just only come to our land to steal, to rape women and children. That's not just what they came to do. They came to destroy our spiritual call because they know very well they can break our spirits. Then it is very easy for us to always be their slaves. That's why after they destroyed all the kingdoms in Africa, they always go for something. They take things that your ancestors have did already to keep the energy of the land balanced. They stole it. Those things they stole now, they now took it to their own land and used it to balance their own energy. So now you are tripping for them without knowing that your ancestral energy is what they are using to balance their society. But we all know what's going on now. Go to London. Many of you complain of court war in Benin. Go to London and see the way Stabina they are killing each other in London. It's not even up to 2% of what is going on in Benin. So a lot of things is going on in the world. The world is changing. Everything that was done to Africa is now time to fix it. The Germans recognize this fact now. That's why Germans is taking the right position. But the question is, why is British not even ready to do the discussion? The British government, the British museum directors, British institution, none of them is ready to even do this discussion. So they believe they can just kill Africans, make African slaves, and it will just end like that. Everybody move on with your life. Because we are just not so important. Now they are scared to do the discussion because they know if they start this discussion now, then me and you will have right to sue them. So it's better to look away as if nothing really happened. As if we will not remember, we don't remember what happened. The version of Benikido is still very fresh. It's just 124 years ago and some weeks now. So it's still very fresh. It's yesterday. So we cannot forget it in a hurry. We are going to teach our children. Our children is going to teach their children. All these things they are occupying in their museum, they must bring it back. We are not begging. That's why we don't need people like Obaseki who can easily be compromised because of money. We need men who can speak. Who can speak truths without having the fear to die because what they are good at is when you are a threat to them, just like always, look at all Africans. Any African leader who stands as a man, they take him out. That is what they are very good at. But if we all start standing as a man, they cannot kill everybody one time. That is the secret. That is the secret. The wealth of the Great Britain today is based on the genocide and the blood they suck from indigenous people all over the earth. Come and prove me wrong, Great Britain. You can't do it, because we all know your story. The only people who don't know your story are people who don't know his story. When you know his story, then you know their story. Because their story is so obvious, it's in our eyes. You just have to look, then you will see. What do you want to talk about? Is it the game you played with the Indians? How you split them now and now make them Pakistan and India and now they hate themselves? Is it the game you played in China? Is it the game you, play, you played in Japan? Is it the game you played in Africa? In South America? In Argentina? We know all these stories. It's, so it's out there. It's out there. So if Great Britain was found in 1600, that was like several hundred years later after Bini Kingdom has already been well established. So a 700 years old child, a 700 years old deity, 
and the deity of today you want to compare them no and those things that was in your ancestral altars they know that this is like a transmission center where you send message deep down to the universe so they have to destroy it they have to burn it down same thing they did in egypt they robbed everything in ancient Egypt. Same thing they did in Libya, in Mali. Everywhere in Africa was raped. France was doing their own. Spanish was doing their own. Portugal was doing their own. British was doing their own. Everybody was fucking Africa from all different, different angles. And now you give us a curriculum. You gave us a book and you think we should just be busy reading your book and forget about what was done to us. We cannot forget it. So the German government must bring this artifact back according to our terms. The way we want it to be. The way we want it to be. Oh, I am alive now. I'll call you back. The way we want it to be, that's how they are going to bring it back. But they are not going to bring it with all of us sitting and doing like people who don't have sense. They will only bring it when they yell speak. They will only bring it when they yell demanding. They will always bring it when they yell standing and focusing on one direction with unity. With unity. That's how they are going to listen and respect us. The only thing that is still delaying everything till now is they divided us. You, you are a Christian. You, you are a Muslim. You, you are Catholic. You, you are Pentecostal. You, you are Jehovah Witness. You, you are this. So you are all divided. You don't even think alike. Many people want to bleach their skin because they hate themselves now. Many believe their ancestors are demons. So as long as this type of mindset is still going around Africa, they will never take us serious. See all the see all the country British colonial. None of them are doing well. They cannot do well. They are not designed to do well. You don't understand this game. The game is the, the what they did to us was a cause. They cast spell on us. So as long as you want to follow that path, you can never do well. Because they are constantly sucking your blood. Ask yourself. Now it was very easy to package you and the canoe, even if that one have his own problem. But now it's, already, it's very easy for them to package him and throw to Nigeria. Ask yourself. The woman who stole billions and billions of dollars who is still in London from Nigeria, former minister of petroleum, who stole billions and billions of dollars, she's still in London. They even gave her immunity. Why? The money she stole, she brought it to them. They can't touch her. She's untouchable now. So we are dealing with something very big, yeah? We are dealing with something very deep here. So when I see some of all these Edo people, some who don't know themselves, who is thinking, I love my governor because of that, we don't talk. I just laugh at you because you think it's about your governor. That's to show the level of your thinking. This is not about your, <laughs> your governor. This is deeper. This is deeper. According to the thinking of the Great British, they don't want anything like Benin Kingdom to be in the display anymore so to them since Germans want to return these things they have to do everything possible on the ground to manipulate it so that it will not come back as a accolade as a respect to the great Benin kingdom they want it to make it so because why if it is documented that it is given to Benin kingdom and now we have Benin Royal Museum that will boost our own chances of holding the British to say, 
come and also give us your own. That's why we are engaging with the German government. If they don't want to listen, they will go to court with the German government. Because we're not begging now, we're not forcing them to bring them. But I say so now, I'm bringing them. They're not doing well. If you want to do something, you do it well or don't do it. So that we all will know you don't do it, you are one of them. Because the respect, the regard must be given. Africa has suffered too much. They have destroyed the souls of Africa. They have manipulated the minds of Africans. Now Africans are just like slaves to the world. They're just like slaves to the world. Spiritually, you are a slave. Economically, you are a slave. Politically, you are a slave. Militarily, you are a slave. Any corner you go to, you are a slave. That is how deep your problem is. The God you worship, they gave you. Your military, they gave you weapon. Your economy, they are in charge of your bank. You don't have no power. You don't have no power. So the only power that is left for you now is the power that your ancestors still carry, that is still running within your gene. That's why they are poisoning you with toxic food, with toxic information, with toxic, toxic messages to be disconnecting and distracting you from that power itself. Because that's the only area they don't really have control over. As long as you watch it, the God they gave you, as long as you believe on those lies they feed you, then you will always, you will always, Uh, I will have to call you back. Hello? Hello? Hey, Obota. Obota. Uh, tell me, Lao, you do me a favor. I am on live video now. I will call you as soon as uh, I finish. I know we have to speak this evening. So I will call you as soon as I finish. Let's see. Okay. Uh, if you want to call now, you will be the type, you, you maybe you want to contribute to what we are talking about. That's the only kind of call I can really have. And please, they should do carbon dating so that we don't bring the fake artifact. Of course! That is why we want to follow up with it. Independent institution have to come and verify it and test it. So we to even know if it's not a 3D print. They want to come and bring to us now. That is the goal now. And when we have people like a basket full of greed on the table, then this type of thing is a big risk. Because they're only conscious about the money. They don't know this is deeper than just a few couple of millions of euros. This is deeper. These items are priceless. They are priceless. No amount on earth can still create them anymore. Why do you think they love it? People who have so much money, they decide to keep your thing. Why? 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 If they are just nothing, why they don't just throw them away to you and, and go and buy a new one or create a new one? Because they can never make it again. They can never make it. When you see a beneath bronze, our artifact, our artwork, the details, the details on it, it tells a lot of story. It carries a lot of ancient energy. Then everybody knows this. If you see the way they carry it, so special, so sacred. They don't carry it like, <laughs> like one item. No, they treat it with care. They know what it is more than many of you are alive today in Africa. They gave you a book, they gave you curriculum, so you were just busy learning English language, thinking you are going to school. You just learned in London man's language, that's what you did in your school. You did not really study, <laughs> they did not really give you knowledge. So they hid knowledge from you, so you can be a perfect slave. They came to the idea that we don't have to be carrying rope to whip these people and tell them to walk in the plantation, all we just have to do. It's to just impose a system on them and tell them to follow the system. And for as long as they follow the system, they will forever be our volunteer slave and even wish for us to be 
death to help them be a perfect slave. Then when you are not subscribing to that system, it's like your own head not correct. Let me take this call. Hello? Hello, no, Dr. Ogura. Hey, good evening, Obota. Uh, please. Yes, you want to make contribution? Don't don't just don't don't worry about that. Obaseki is the one playing on the ground game. He wants to make sure he frustrates the old Bini people, and that's why he's trying to play a game with the federal government, with a not federal government, with Lai Mohammed, so that it will look like only federal government will not be in charge. No, this is not the property of Nigeria. So we know how to deal with Lai Mohammed. That's not our problem. Our first target here is to get Obaseki out of the table. Completely. Then when the attack now arrive. No, this is. You are right, but this is how it work. Let me explain the process to you. This is how it work. Nigeria is a sovereign nation. Yeah. And Lai Mohammed is the Minister of Information and Culture and Art of Nigeria as a country. Yeah. So what we are doing now is this. When these items come, we, the federal government of Nigeria and German government are the one that is going to sign all the documents. And as soon as Nigeria receives it, as a country, then Nigeria will not take it to the people. We are not worried, we don't worry about Nigeria. Our fear is Obaseki, who has created a private institution that want to take a possession of these artifacts. Now that his cable is already burnt, he is trying to project it now like, since I know he keep on with my friends, no, no, for Nagosian. But don't, we don't worry about that. We know how to deal with Nigeria. We don't get problem with Nigeria. Buhari is a very nice person where they listen to us. We will not get problem with those things. So, you leave Obaseki and the people made the propaganda and say that Nigeria won't carry on. We don't have problem with that. Of course, of course. Which is good. Which is good. That is what we want. That is what we want. Exactly. Of course, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, let me explain to you. 
Let me explain to you. You see that group you were inside? That group is our introduction group. And the link to that group is on Facebook, which means any idiot can just jump in. So what we are doing is, as you come in that, into that group, you will introduce yourself, and then we will now add you to our verified group. So for you, I know you already. That's why I told you to exit that group. I could have added you personally to the verified group where you will not see all those bullshits. So that is just it. That group is our intro group. Everybody food there. Yes. Yes. So please don't have no don't have no panic. Uh, sorry, what do you say? Nas calm. All those one has come. <laughs> it's a lie. Don't mind. Don't mind. Nah, no, those are just normal. All those one are normal small small boys where they learn your own. Just it does block his number. Yeah, block his number. Yes, very good. <laughs> Don't mind him. I will forward I will forward your contact now to our admin, then we add you directly to our verified group. So that uh, uh you, that place is already verified and you don't have those type of nonsense issue there. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. That's why we are looking for him this morning. Where are you, Obaseki? Now you have become a ghost. He came not born. He don't become ghost. The governor cannot come to speak with his people. To the old Edo people, he did not offend just the monarch. He offended the whole black race. He offended the old black race. And all the ancestors from Africa are going to ask him, for you to be fighting for us, you want to divert what belongs to us. So you are more worse than the white man itself. And these are the type of black men that uh, Malcolm S called the house negroes. They are more dangerous. No problem. Thank you for your contribution. Please have no fear. Nigeria government is a legitimate government. They are the legitimate body to receive the artifact. Nigeria government is legitimate. LROT, the private institution of Obaseki, is the one that is a threat, not Nigeria government. This is the fact. Yeah, of course, of course now. Of course now. We have been we have been discussing with the German authorities. We let the Germans know if you do anything with Obaseki, we are suing you for selling our artifact to the wrong people. And Germans know that we are serious, so they're listening. And we never see stop because we want see land completely. We never see land. We never see land. We want see land completely. To the extent say the come come on Baseki and the team name from any team we concern our table of negotiation. If they want to negotiate, just negotiate with Nigeria and then if Palace want to represent, the Palace will write a paper and sign it and give to somebody. Anybody cannot yet come and say the present royal house. It doesn't work like that. You must have a permission from the Oba that say this is the permission of the Oba I am representing. After all, we have traditional councils, we have our Oba. So whether you be prince, you be princess, we don't give a fuck. If we not get that permission, you are not recognized to represent us. That's facts. So thank you very much for your contribution, Wesley. Of course, of course. Of course.
When she's a lie, those people saying those things are just Christian who are brainwashed. No, uh, new, that that one is a lost soul. Now, pastor, now is a pastor. Those are those pastors are lost souls. Don't mind him. Y'all leave Newton. Newton is a dead man already. I'm not believing. Just leave that idiot. Bible don't destroy brain. He confused now. You know the same. Those are those are confused people now. Y'all leave that mumu. Leave those mumu. Of course. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution, Wesley. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. I have forwarded your contact to our admin now that we add you to the verified group where you will not be seeing nonsense. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's that is normal because the link is open and different people enter. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay. So what we are discussing about is not some for children. I greet you with peace and love. Hello? Hello, good evening. Please, what is your contribution, sir? Good evening, sir. Good yeah, my name is Lawrence Aldo. I'm calling from Abuja, Nigeria. Ah, that is nice. Thank you for your contribution. Please reduce the volume over there so that you can hear me very well. Okay, I move away from You can reduce the volume of the one you are using to watch me so that... Yes, perfectly. Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Perfectly, we can hear you so well. There is. I also, you know, draw my mind back to it that 
it's, it's, it's a possibility that these guys might want to do it, but at the level with which things have gone now, it is very difficult for them to play, to do any foul play, especially now that Obaseki has been exposed. Exactly. I am not a Bini person. I'm, I'm a Nigerian. I've had a lot of interaction with uh, the, 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 a lot of Bini's who have always, always been my friends. That's beautiful. And as a matter of fact, yes, it, it's, um, it, it's, a, it, it's a pivotal culture that has remained consistent over time. Facts. And if other cultures, yes, will learn from the Bini culture, I think Africa will be great again. Exactly. Thank you very much. This is what I want people to understand. This is about Africa, not just one tribe or one clan. This is our thing. This is for all of us. And we all deserve respect. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. And for the question your wife asked... Okay, yes, you can pass to her. Oh, good evening. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to speak with you and your husband this evening. That's beautiful. Thank you for your support, your love, and everything. Yes. For the question you were asking, madam, let me just answer you. Yes, we know there are possibilities for these things to be printed with 3D printing machines. We know that Germans have technology. But what we are trying to do now is to put this in the spotlight of the international view so that Germans will not risk their reputation to try that type of nonsense because why? They are the ones who volunteered to return it and now the whole world is watching. So they will not like to destroy their reputation. The only people we were scared of is people like Governor Baseki and his private organizations who want to manipulate these things. Those are our biggest threats. Germans know what is fairness and they want to trade fairly. We trust Germans. We just don't trust those greedy politicians who want to benefit. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I, I, am, I, am, I am with you and I'm going to be connecting with you as much as possible. Thank you. If I have any questions, I will send. If yes. I have any questions, just be rest assured that we are with you in this trip. Thank you, you very much. You say, I said, thank you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 okay. Bye bye for now. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This is Africa Strongo. And the earlier everybody knows this, the better it is. This is not just a struggle uh, for one group of persons. This is not just a struggle for one clown. This is struggle for the whole liberation of the full black race. So this is something that we all have to really know and pay very close attention to. This is what this is all about now. So, when we are talking about ancient Bini artifacts, you have to recognize something. Before the British invaded Bini Kingdom, they have already concluded that everybody in West Africa, in that rainforest of West Africa, they have already concluded that we are all savage. Let me try and brighten my phone a little because it's getting dark over here. They have already concluded that we are all savage. We are all people who don't know themselves. We are all monkeys jumping from tree to tree. We don't even know how to dress or eat. We don't even have clothes. That was their conclusion already in the Western world. But when the Portuguese, first it was the Dutch, but later the Portuguese, when they start coming from the uh, 1300, start coming deep into West Africa, start seeing kingdom like Great Benin. By 1440, Portuguese was already established a strong relationship with us. They were the one now who start going to Europe and telling them, hey, least you know, we are completely wrong. There are people in these rainforests. These people, they are so vast in mathematics. They are building structures. It's in fractals. 
What is a fractor? A fractor is a special part of mathematics which the time we were building our structures, houses in fractors, Europeans don't even know mathematics up to that level yet. They are, Europe know fractors from 1800. Meanwhile, we understand fractors already from 500 to 900. You see the gap? So when they saw these things, their mind blown. They're like, how is this possible? How did these people have this knowledge? We thought only the Egyptians were vast. We thought only the Europeans were educated. We thought only the Arabs were deep. But we never knew these people. These people, they have this understanding. Look at how they build their society. They open their mouth like, whoa, why? The structure of our traditional system is a perfect institution. And a very good, I will do a teaching about it. You have the Obas, you have the Nogye, you have the Dionwere. Everything is perfectly designed. More perfect than the democracy they <laughs> imposed on us. More perfect, I will rephrase it again. More perfect than the so-called democracy. Cancel. Mm, okay. More perfect than the so-called democracy they imposed on us. So for this reason, that was why they were very, very, very jealous. And that was why for them, they believe, okay, now we have this intention to make these people our slave. But these people can never remain slave if their children, children have access to all this information that their ancestors have. So the only perfect way we can make them our slave is if we steal these ancient things that their ancestors create, then after like 20 years later, we cannot tell them a new story. Since they don't see the things in their eyes, they will easily believe our new story and forget about everything their ancestors do and their ancestors did and now become a perfect slave. So that is how they catch us. And that is the reason where you will see some black men today that will tell you Africa is nothing. Africa has never contributed to this world. I beg you, Muna, forget Africa. Africa is cost. It's a lie. Is thinking like that because somebody has brainwashed him to think that Africa is nothing. Meanwhile, everything in existence, including electricity, everything you see today was invented in Africa. Everything. Everything. Including life started from Africa. 30,000 years ago, 40,000 years ago, 50,000 years ago, when Africans start mapping the X, Europe was still in Ice Age. Humans were not, was not existing yet. The few humans who later came later was in the cave, where Africans has already mastered the whole planets and shaped everything. And now decide this place you now call Africa is where they will stay. And then I settled there because this is the perfect place in the whole of this planet. That is why everybody in the world, China, America, Europe, they need Africa. Without the bloodstream of Africa, the world will starve. Tell the whole world to take their hands out of Africa for ordinary 10 years. Hunger will kill everybody in the world. You have to know what you are dealing with. So your life is what they need to suck on. For them to excel now for that to continue still going then they have to brainwash you that nothing is good about your life so that you don't even value them so when they not suck you you feel it as a privilege and you enjoy the sucking because they have make you believe that your life is worthless this is the mind game we dealing with a psychological warfare here that's what we are dealing with too so the people you call your politicians they are just agents. They are agents to keep that alien system alive and balanced. And that's why there is misery in Africa. That's why there is no politician that can give you anything you are dreaming of. That's why I laugh at those people who say, oh, I don't care, I don't care. Now, village thinking, they think like villager. They don't get sense. Now, they still think that. Because why? He can never give you anything he promised you. He can never. Not because he don't love you. No, 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 no. He can never give it to you because according to how the system is designed, 
is not supposed to give it to you because if they give you lights they give you security they give you insurance health insurance guidance they give you normal society the way europe this structure that time you go get chance to the think and when you get chance to tell the thing, you can understand the science of the world and the universe. And when you understand all this science, you can't know say now you be the God where everybody supposed to watch you. You can't know say now you be possession of all these things. Then you can become threat to people where they decide to make you slave. So for that not to happen, they need to they lie give you. They need to they make you confused. They need to create problem within tribes and clowns and people religion war. All those nonsense need to they go on so that you you're busy. They do nothing. Why then will continue <laughs> the current generation wet from one generation to another generation? See now, England becomes one of the richest country in the world. How? Ask yourself how. What did England get? What did British get? Nothing. Nothing. But now they get more diamond than every nation on earth. How did they get it? By killing people who own it. Look at Congo, the richest country on earth. But go see what they go on now for Congo. Congo now they'll become farm for all warlords till they come, come they kill and steal and destroy. That's the science. And the only way we can fix this problem is Africans, we have to forgive ourselves. No matter what I do, no matter what this tribe do, let's forgive ourselves, come together and start thinking as one. As long as we cannot think as one, then you will always be slave forever. That's the science of this universe. And that is the conclusion European came to at 1884. Where they can't decide, say, you know what? Let's think as one. For we to fight ourselves, for we to despise ourselves, let's just share Africa as our property and use them to balance and pay ourselves and our children, children to come. That's why they scrambled Africa for themselves. So we also have to come to that decision. When we can come to that decision, we can say, you know what? You guys have been sucking us for a very long time. Thank you so much for sucking us. But guess what? Enough of this suck. Now it's time to discuss fairness. Now it's time to have mutual respect. If one person talk on, the block can't come on. One person talk on, the block can't come on. But if everybody talk on, then all of you block everybody come on. That's the secret. A man who hid knowledge from you purposely can't, can't, can't give you God. People that hid knowledge from you now decide to give you a God. Ask yourself, how can that God be real God? Common sense. I don't want to make you know as I say, blend this thing, as I say, make them, as I say, come to existence. But yet, I want to make you know one spirit. We day is our universe, we create everything. We me not fit tell you ask me to make this one. I don't want to tell you. We we who do us? We not we not we not go think for our common sense. They are put first borders separating a similar trap. Exactly. Exactly. Today now go to Nigeria, you hear this outside be Igbo, this outside be this. Those things are lies. We are just one family. <laughs> we are just one family. That is the normal truth. But when you know see people who don't want to know that truth and still say we are this you not tell them listen, listen. I'm not that which you are thinking. Get out. Before you know, it all sets. Travel world will never be the problem. But deep down the call, we are all just one family. And we all have to start thinking like that. So if you want to call, feel free to make one or two contributions. Because I will end it soon now. I just wanted to do it uh, quick and uh I have some persons I need to speak with, so you can make, you can call if you have contribution. So the Great Britain and the Great Benin, the war is not over. This is what you have to know, because every kingdom that the British has invaded, they cancelled and come up for history. Somehow they're still not they happy. So the Great Benin culture remains. 
the great Benin Empire remained. This is now the second oldest kingdom on earth. In case you don't know, the royal family, our upper family, is one of the third oldest family on earth. They don't like all these things. British Royal Museum, they want to be the only Royal Museum in the world. So when they hear Bini Royal Museum, they feel threatened. They don't feel comfortable just hearing it alone. Then they need people like Obaseki to tell him to set up a, a, a private institution who will create a MOWA, a MOWA, a MOWA, a MOWA. What is a MOWA? What is a MOWA? Obaseki just come and disgrace everybody. What is a MOWA now? You cannot answer our question. Now we don't even know where you are again. Honorary can talk now. You will be oh governor. Can't talk now. You know if you talk. You know if you talk. Uh, somebody say you busy. You busy. Which kind of stupid busy? You can't busy. Which kind of mumu busy? You can't busy. We be say a matter very important like this now. You remain mute. I because you want to do underground work. You want to do underground work. All your cable door born. We don't hold Germans for blockers. We have told the Germans that if you don't do it the way it's supposed to be done, we and you go get problem. Not before Baseki, not be Nigeria. We and you now go get problem. We go drag you. That time you can't tell the old German citizen how Una take carry our ancient artifact, go give them to 419 squad for Africa. Whether or not I can't do or when I get to our secret agenda, when I can't explain and give the word. Now make we don't need to silence. 24th now we are in Stuttgart. Stuttgart now the capital of Baden Wurttemberg. Every place where we for the do protest now strategic point where business will do it, it they cast everywhere. It no matter whether na one person for Deutschland, only you feel protest and they are still listening to you. That is secret here. So anywhere you day, sign the petition. If you feel come the protest, come there. Don't just sit there and don't do nothing. You think people will just respect you. Your enemy will never respect you when they know that if they do you something, you don't get anything to take do them anything back. So they're not gonna ever get your time to respect you. But when they know that if you are angry, you can move, you can do something, then they will be very, very careful and they will always respect you also. We all have to just wise up. We have to wise up. Stop thinking small. Stop thinking small. Just stop thinking small and let's come together and use unity. You don't have to be a dull man before you feel connected to what this discussion. If you know what the British has done to Africa, even if you are a Senegal, you are a South African, you are a Malia, you are a Ghanaian, this is your own fight. This is your own fight. Because if we feel win respect for you, you go feel still win respect. If we not feel get respect, you have to forget about your own respect. That's why I always laugh at all these IPOB boys. They are they want to support anything that want to destroy Bini Kingdom. That's what they support. And yet they are crying for Biafra that has never existed. Imagine. You want to destroy ancient system that has existed since more than 2,500 years. Before they will burn Jesus, we don't we don't they. Okay, you the one support what you want to destroy them. And yet you want to fight for one imaginary country who Juku and his friends think about where it not work. Meaning you don't even get sense. <laughs> you don't understand. Now, I don't blame you. Everybody get a level of understanding for life. So be free. Sign the petition. Sign the petition. Help us the share them. You know those little, little role. As you are watching now, share it. Don't just watch and enjoy and go. No, still share it. If not group, if not place, you share it. Everybody have their little, little role to play. That's, their sec that's the secret. You might not be able to sponsor us financially. You might not be able to come and join us. You might not be able to do anything. But you can sign the petition. You can tell your friend, hey, there is one petition now. We have signed it. Please also join me to sign it. We have to stop these people. We have to do what is. You can do all those small, small, small things. And you can just also share into five or three groups or three pages. Just to share everywhere. That's just it. Play your own little role. 
in your own little way that you can so that you can feel satisfied with your own soul if you don't play any role then there's no there's no sense of you being alive because you know if you're there alive so you know they play any role you know, it don't make sense no makes sense so i will be ending it here so i can do something else now i send you peace i send you love i wish you a nice evening and please help us share it with this campaign is just starting we will keep on pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it now we have already achieved uh, okay imagine it as a file that is downloading now we have already get, we have already upload like 65 percent of the file but we still have to seal it but basic is so intelligent so smart and so sneaky he have more than 1000 ideas of how to steal he's a banker investor so he knows how to go around and manipulate people to achieve what he wants that is his profession that is his own profession to deceive and make you buy his idea. Now, so you take cash and don't people to vote for <laughs> So, but that is their own problem. We just want our artifact. We don't really care about those nonsense politics. Just give us our, leave our artifact alone. With the next discussion, we don't want to see him around that table. And all those your friends in your legacy trust fund, go and buy. Uh, there is a lot of artwork that is made in Africa. You people should go and empower all those local artists, empower them, take their artwork and use it to build your MOA museum. People will still come because the world loves art. They just leave our ancestral property alone. So simple. So simple. And you will be for, will be stranger. You want on the phone now, you want on the day in charge of our shit artifacts. And you need do Pai Du is the first ancestors of all these people you see in South South. So his name is Idu. Pai Du is the great spirit we all worship. In Benin, we call it Aimi Du. He's a very tall, giant black man. He's still alive. Now he lives under the ocean. He's going to haunt all of you who is trying to play with our ancestral heritage is going to haunt all of you all of you all those politicians who want to play and steal our heritage any do we haunt all of you that's really what i want to share i will end it here now i have to take this call this is a appointment call bye bye for now i send you peace and love Hello? Hey, Domo Bota, how's everything? Bye bye for now. Mm.